What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension ticker symbol NNDM. So they are coming off a pretty substantial acquisition, which is going to cost them in total about $70 million. Now that's going to be a combina combination of cash and stock, which we covered in my previous Nano Dimension video. Now, uh, we do see NNDM on the current day that I'm recording this video continuing their bullish run up of about 3.5% in the green. And then in the after hours period, Nano Dimension is currently up 2.84%. So NNDM and the overall market is taking this news relatively well. But in this video, we are going to go over in a, a short attack that has been put out about Nano Dimension. And we also have a shareholder meeting that we have coming up that is going to be very important for you guys as Nano Dimension investors. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Weeble valued up to $1,850, make sure you check out that link down below in my description. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit over $100, and you get access to those two free stocks. And if you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So over Overall, I am very bullish on Nano Dimension over the long term. We have the backing of ARK Invest and a new industry that could take over how different uh, uh, electronics are manufactured. And Nano Dimension is positioned very well to get out ahead of this. They already are the key player uh, in the 3D printed electronics market at the current time. And I think that we could see this market really expand over the next couple of years. And if Nano Dimension plays their cards right, comes out with machines that are able to mass produce and they are able to mass produce these actual Dragonfly LDM machines, I think we could see revenue substantially increase over the next couple of quarters and years. But nothing I say in these videos is financial advice. These are for educational and entertainment purposes only. I am just here to give you guys all of the pertinent news on all of the stocks that we like to talk about. So let's start talking about this short rapport and this kind of short attack that we could see come up for Nano Dimension. Now, I don't really see a reason why a company would want to come out and short Nano Dimension after it just went from the $17 range all the way into the $7 range. It seems like this sell-off has kind of been played out and we've seen Nano Dimension just announce an acquisition of a company. Now, typically when we see these big short reports come out, we could potentially see the share price of these companies drop. But but since Nano Dimension did not see this, I think they're in a very good position right now and, and are kind of solidifying themselves uh, in the the marketplace. I think we have found the bottom and we could start a bullish trend up. So let's take a look at exactly what this short report entails and kind of verify the actual statements that are made. So when we come over here, this is going to be from Carisdale Capital and this comes from their Twitter page. So this is pretty typical. Uh, Citron, a really large uh, short selling firm, puts out a lot of their short information uh, on their Twitter. So we're short NNDM. The deal NNDM announced today. So this actually came out the day um, that they announced the acquisition. So, so this news was kind of masked by all of the good news and the bullish uh, bullishness that we saw when Nano Dimension announced their acquisition of DeepCube and they are and they think that is it is one of the silliest moves in recent memory paying 70 million dollars to acquire a random startup in an unrelated field founded by two of Nano Dimension's board members so let's kind of verify that statement because honestly I don't really like that Nano Dimension did that. Um, but if this company is a really good company and they're able to actually come and help Nano Dimension, I don't really see a problem with it. But I do see where Carousel Capital is coming from when they make that statement. So when we come over, these are going to be all of the board of directors on Nano Dimension. And when we come over to Crunchbase, we can see that this is Deep Cube right here. And when we come down, Eli David and Yoran uh, Eton are the, are the founders of this company. And when we come back here, we can see that we have uh, Yoran uh, Eaton right here. Sorry, it's hard for me to pronounce that individual's name and Eli David right there. So they did uh, actually found this company and this was the, the company that Nano Dimension acquired. So when we move back over back to the short report, we can see that Carisdale Capital thinks that NNDM's core concept is itself a joke. It's supposed to allow 3D printing of circuit boards, but its tech can't handle high temperatures or produce boards with high conductivity. Early adopters have been very disappointed with the results, but NNDM capitalized on market craziness to raise a ludicrous amount of cash, $1.5 billion with no obvious use. I disagree with this. Um, 
So Nana Dimension is looking at using that cash that they have raised for two companies uh, that they want to, two types of companies that they want to acquire. As I've said before, type A is going to be them trying to buy a distribution chain, which in my opinion is going to cost a lot more uh, than buying some of these smaller companies to help them with their technology, which that does make sense uh, because these other companies that they're going to help uh, actually distribute uh, the, the actual Dragonfly LDM system are going to provide a lot more value to NNDM in the short term and long term because as i've said before if they have the best product the best technology in it it does not matter if they are not able to make sales so when we come down here look at the gibberish here deep cubes ai ml dl brain is expected to manage a neural network of edge devices self-learning and self-improving their efficacy and self-managing and maximizing yield throughout the total network now coming down a little bit further we get to the main reason why this short report in this company is shorting uh nndm so stripping away the buzzwords what's really happening is that nndm is using shareholder money to buy out an obscure unrelated startup founded by two of its board members and it's hard to see how this isn't pure self-dealing now uh, we're really gonna have to see uh, how this situation plays out at the current time, I do agree that it's not great that Nano Dimension bought out a company that two of its board members were the founders of, but if this company can really deliver on what Nano Dimension wants it to do, I think it is going to be a very good investment over the long term. The only problem is, is that if there were other companies that could have been better, uh, that NNDM could have used better in their new technology, trying to develop new technology and put it into the Dragonfly LDM system, that would make me upset as a shareholder because if they are going to be giving these uh, acquisitions and, and cash out essentially their board members with their other business ventures that's really hurting us as shareholders of nndm now we also have a continuation of this short report so nndm a few tidbits from our research one person with direct experience using the company's machines told us that output quality was so bad that sometimes if you just picked up a printed board it would stop working a former nndm employee told us that the company's silver based conductive ink usually lasted for a short time before it oxidized and became useless leading to a need for multiple copies of a single prototype very inefficient boards also can't stand up to the high temperatures used in standards uh, standard reflow ovens ovens to solder on electric components forcing these components to be painstakingly soldered by hand another massive inefficiency and they say that it's bad technology what we don't know here is when this employee left nano dimension this could have been in the really early stages of of NNDM trying to create this Dragonfly LDM system, and the, and the actual product could be vastly different now than it was in the past. In addition to this, we also have a shareholder meeting coming up at the end of May, so let's take a look at exactly what this meeting is going to be about. So notice of annual and extraordinary general meeting of shareholders, and this is going to occur on May 25th, 2021 at 4 p.m. is real time. The meeting is being called for the following purposes. Discussion regarding the company's financial statements for the year ended December 31st, 2020 to approve the appointment of Somek uh, Chaikin, sorry if I butchered that name, certified public accountants, a member of KPMG International as the company's independent registered public accounting firm for the year ended December 31st, 2021, and until the next gen uh, annual general meeting, and to authorize the company's board of directors to determine their compensation. The compensation part, I think, is extremely important. They're also going to re-elect, this is what they are going to decide on, to re-elect Amit Daror and Roni Kleinfield for a three-year term as Class I director of the company until the company's gen uh, annual general meeting of shareholders in 2024 and until their respective successors are duly elected and qualified. So I think if these individuals want to come back to Nano Dimension for three more years, I think that speaks to company loyalty and these individuals are going to see firsthand the potential of Nano Dimension over the long term. And if they are choosing to stay, I think that is a very good sign. They are also looking to authorize Mr. Yoav Stern, the CEO of the company, to also serve as the chairman of the board of directors of the company for a term of three years from the date of the meeting and to approve a grant of the uh, of options to the company's directors. Now, I think that this is one of the most important things that we need to keep a lookout for. So Nano Dimension has added a couple of new individuals to their board and to some really key executive roles. It's going to be very interesting to see what the compensation is going to be like for these individuals and if we are going to see an excessive amount of compensation and where this compensation is going to be coming from. Is this going to be coming from the cash that Nano Dimension has raised 
from us shareholders or is this going to be from some other source and and are these going to be more fair salaries this is going to be very interesting to look out for in this shareholder meeting so this is going to be occurring on may 25th 2021 at 4 p.m again so i just want to make sure you guys understand and know when this is happening so that is going to conclude this update on nndm if you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that i provided for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options i'm trading and which strategies i'm using to trade them so i hope you guys are having a really profitable day and i'll see you guys in the next video